Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a lookup and bring back multiple items. So let's say for example we have a table here and this is a unit table and we have this other table here which we have our sales person and region and sales and this one of course is our SKU and description. We want to have something like what we have here. We have our two columns from the first table and then we have the rest of the columns from the other table. Now there's actually two ways you could think about doing this and one you can do a VLOOKUP and the other way I'm actually going to show in detail is going to be using Power Query. So let's go into our sheet here and the step I mentioned previously with the VLOOKUP you can just type VLOOKUP, press tab and we want to look up the SKU value in this table here. right? Let's press F4 to lock those cells in. So there's a dollar sign in front of them. It won't change when we copy the formula down. And we want the second column there, right? Close parentheses, press enter. And we have item one here. Drag the fill hound node down here. And we have item one there, right? So that's one way we can do it. Now, of course, in Excel, there's many different ways to do the same thing. And we're going to do that. Let's delete this. Now, doing VLOOKUP is probably more something that you would do if you had a short small tables and this wasn't something that you did on a regular basis but if you had large tables or you did something on a regular basis having Power Query actually helps because it kind of automates that process. So what we need to do first is bring in our two ranges of data these two tables into the Power Query editor. So what we need to do is go under data and get data from table. It's going to turn that first range of data into a table. You can see that it wants to create a table from that. Click OK and it's going to create that table. It called it table one, bring it over there. As a created table, it created table one. All we need to do is close and load for now. And by default, I have this to close and load as a connection only. You can see here, if I click close and load, there's gonna give you two different options or a couple of different options. You can close and load as a table. It's gonna put it as a table on a new worksheet or, or existing worksheet, or you can create only create a connection. By default, I set my particular Excel to only create a connection. So it's going to load it into the Power Query editor as a connection only. Do the same thing for this table. Go under data and from table, it's going to create table two. Click OK. And now we have our table two data here. And it's going to load it. I'll click close and load. I don't need to click, so, click close and load too because I have it default to load it as a connection only. Now what I want to do is I want to merge these tables. So I'm going to take this table here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference it. Right click and click reference because I just want to reference the output of that table to create a new table. I'm going to call this one combine, C-O-M-B-I-N-E. And what I'm going to do is I am going to merge the query. So I'm going to merge this query that I referenced off the first table one. I'm going to merge it with the other table. So this is going to be merging with table two. And I want to have the common columns get merged. So it's going to take this table and I'm going to do a left outer join. So it's going to keep the columns here and bring in the matching records here on the different columns there. So I'll click OK. And we have this table column. If I click on the blank space here, you'll notice that it's going to bring in Anything that's related to 213 for that particular row, anything related to 490 for that particular row, and the rest here. Now, I want to click on these double-headed arrows to expand it, so I'm going to click on that. And all I want to do is have the sales, salesperson, and region. And I don't want to use the original column as a prefix because it will just add that column name, these column names with something else. Click OK. Whoops. Uh, let's, let's kill that because it... I, did, I didn't uncheck it, so it, lab, it labeled it table 2.sales, table 2.salesperson. Let's do it again. So click on the double-headed arrow again, and unselect SKU, unselect use original column as prefix, click OK. And now I have the table that I wanted, right? So I, I brought back the multiple items from the other table based on that one lookup value. Now I'm going to click close and load 2, and I'm going to load it as a new worksheet. I'll just create it put a table on a new worksheet, click load. And now you see it created a new worksheet here and it puts the items here. So that's how we look up one value 
and bring back multiple values from another table, right? Brought back the multiple salespeople here for 213 there. So I showed one way to do it using VLOOKUP, and that's helpful when you have small tables, something that you don't have to do on a reoccurring basis. But if you do this on a reoccurring basis or large tables, you might want to look into Power Query to help you do this. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.